When you came over for dinner, I was chopping garlic. You sat down, slumped over, bones leaning in as if your shoulder blades had spent the morning being sharpened into weapons. And as you talked with the cheerful stream of a quiet mind, your chest was radiating, carrying some lost sadness like a blind planet, thick with gravity orbiting your lungs. You were vibrating so hard I could barely chop. I saw my hand, knife in, quivering blocks of tofu. Your suitcases turned suddenly, responding to the sickly spin in your chest. You said, I'm fine. I wanted to find the constellations of your pain and kiss the lights at their sharpest. To think of this star, found by astronomers, almost dead in May, but brought back to life again by its coruscating satellite, its gravitationally bound binary star that knew the exact cosmic distance to stay so that it could save it from itself. How romantic. But they know the closer these two stars spin, the sooner they will implode with the massive weight of their astronomical touch. And so when you came over for dinner, we fell into each other too. So hard we left bruises, we destroyed the space between us until my knees were bleeding and your mind was lost into the new gravities between my flesh and your bones. And it is these new gravities that will rescue you, addict you to their brief reprieve from your thoughts, the thoughts that spiral constantly into the sickness of the world around you, the newspaper headlines, the men who killed their children, the women raped and murdered in ditches, scraping skin away from bones with garlic knives. You need this because your fear threatens you, and maybe we fuck so you can threaten it back. Obsessive-compulsive disorder, you told me. Almost as common as asthma, you told me. Asthma, an illness that wants my breath, but leaves my heart at least intact, unlike yours, which wants you tenderly in its jaw and continents away from me. When every unexplained blemish is proof of a vengeful God, sure punishment for the terrors you project onto your hands, bodies are dangerous, and closeness threatens the destruction of everything you think, including me. But we are not binary stars, and the perfect distance will not protect me from you. It will drive me mad with the sweet and necessary stagnance of missing you nakedly. This missing you nakedly turns my own mind and body against me until I go sick with the desire to destroy everything with closeness, the blind planets, the radiating sadness, until you can just touch me and know that you will leave that garlic knife on the counter and kiss my fingers like the man you are. But now you've left with your suitcases. And I am in my kitchen navigating leftovers and the scabs on my knees. And while stars are still dying somewhere, I am chopping garlic and you are a universe away.